Hello, it's Markham with Torch Chief from Markham 3D. And what we're going to be doing here is using the array modifier to rotate parts around a central axis. So for once, I'm going to keep the standard cube, but I'm going to just move it over to the left, uh, to the right, sorry. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Shift A, Mesh. Oops, sorry, Shift A, Empty, Plane Axis. So this is going to be our central point. And what I want to do is make these cubes rotate all the way around. I'm going to come over into the modifiers, add modifier, add array. I'm going to set the relative offset to zero, zero, zero. And I'm going to enable object offset. Now our object that we're going to offset from is this empty. And we want, let's say, let's say we want 12. So from here, I'm going to select the empty. I'm going to rotate on the Z axis. And we can see that we've got our uh, cubes going around. Now, what number do we need for 12? 360 divided by 12 is 30 degrees. Enter. So now we've got our array um, our cubes evenly spaced around the circle but let's say I actually wanted 36 of these boxes around the circle e um, easy so let's go to count change this to 36 let's select our empty if I do alt R it'll reset the rotation but now I'm going to press R to rotate Z on the Z axis and we're going to do 10 degrees and so now we've got 36 uh, cubes but obviously they're overlapping at the moment let's make the cube a little bit smaller now I only have to edit one instance so I'm going to press scale on the cube and there we have it using an array to rotate stuff pretty suave